what is this that just popped up? That's what we were just doing, Bethel. Um, I didn't understand what we were looking at. Oh, it says warped 31 times. Hang on, go back. How do I see that again? How come they change? Oh, there it goes, if you hover over it. So if I have to warp 40... See, that I haven't seen anywhere online that says you have to warp 40 times, though. It just said you finished the seventh quest in the Artemis storyline, and that's when it triggers. And then if, if that's true, that I have to warp 40 times, then I still got to do another nine warps. One Numenal says in the wiki, it says after concluding the 1616... That's the one I read. Or getting Pioneer and warping to a system. But I've definitely got Pioneer, and I've just warped into a system. Do I have to then pulse to a planet or something? Like, to get it while I'm in... Hang on, hang on. Somebody just said something important. Uh, I need to back out of this. Mark says it says it just said you were scout rank How, or Mike said that Mike LaRusso. How did you see that? I thought it meant pioneer for something else. Hold that thought. Hold that thought. Where did you see scout? Exactly. There's like confusing information on what might trigger it. Now I'm trying to find it again, because these appear to change when you're hovering over them. Overall journey, space exploration, Voyager. How do I see... Oh, that one. Okay, gotcha. The one that popped up on my... Explorer's Guild, Voyager, 3150, 31 of 40 systems discovered. To travel to a new system. Well, we're going to need warp fuel. Yeah, I might need to just finish the Atlas missions too, Beavis. That's totally legit. Like, I just don't know. Well, I'll tell you what. Rather than trying to, like... Programmer says the mysterious message appears when you warp into a new system. It should also re-trigger after completing the Artemis storyline. So I have to complete, complete the Artemis storyline? Because technically I'm still working on the Artemis storyline. Because I'm supposed to construct the mind arc. Which honestly, I don't know if I have the... Do I have the blueprint for that? I do. We need a soul engine, a loom, living pearl, um, and glass. Okay, that's gonna be a lot of resource harvesting. Jump nine more times to see what happens. I don't know if I have enough... Um... I don't have enough fuel to do nine jumps. I'd have to make some more fuel, which means we would need to go back to our base. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, um... 
We're gonna go back to the main base and um, do some crafting because I need to make warp pool. What's up? Huh? Nadian. Está todo dentro. Y Frodo. Todos están dentro. Okay. So they're all inside. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Be careful. Yeah. Let's just. It, it might be the quickest and easiest for me to just do nine warps. I may have to. We may have to stop and make some more warp fuel. But let's just try this and see what happens. It has to be new systems, though, right? And I wonder if it matters, like, new systems for me? Either way, we're just going to go in one direction and see what happens. I feel like Bilbo Baggins going on an adventure. Small jumps? That's probably a good tip. I just went for a long jump just then. Burn it up a bunch of fuel. Silver. Boo. Uh, let's look at small gems. I would need to go to... F it's free mode, right? Free explore. Like this, is, this is a small jump, right? Can I zoom in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oops, that's not... There we go. That's a small jump. Wow, this is kind of cool looking. An icebound planet. This place is all green, man. Infested Paradise. The last one we looked at that was an infested paradise had worms on it, man. Temperate planet. Interesting. Yeah, it kind of looked like Earth a little bit. What do we got that's close to here? Nope, that's not close. This is number four, I think. I can always go in the panel and look, I guess. How did I 
I get the map to go in? Oh, there we go. It's this button. Never mind. Herpaderpa. Nope. Over here. Hyperdrive has no fuel. All right. Activated planet always means storm, says Mark Collins. Okay. Well, we got to make some more fuel right now. By the way, let's check the... Um... Where did I see that? It was... Yeah, we've done 35. We need to do four, five more jumps. Right? I think that's right. Five more jumps. Okay, so I need a little bit more juice. Some more gas in the tank. I know what's wrong with it. I ain't got no gas in it. I make these one at a time because I just don't know that I have enough stuff in them. Let's see what we can do here. make three more. Let's make three of those if I can. Let's see if I can make three antimatter housings. At the very least, if this doesn't work, I'll just go keep working on the Artemis storyline and hopefully eventually come across it. But I had a bug up my butt this morning because I went online last night was looking it up and that was the first thing I did when I rolled out of bed this morning was I parked my ass down here and was like, how do I get this quest? Let's fly around and try to unlock it. This is an interesting looking place. It's all like sky blue. Not like a sky blue, more like a topaz. All right. Next. Yeah, apparently, yeah. One time, when I was a young man, I traveled across the stars in my little starter ship. Ooh, another Earth-looking planet. Or at least a big body of water. Fiery Dreadworld! It doesn't look fiery from here, it looks uh, watery. says if you find an FPF system, 5PF system with water, check the planets, especially if they have six planets including moons. <coughs> I'll never rem remember. <laughs> I got one more to go. One more jump.
Journey milestone accomplished. Pioneer. Yes, I am, Lord of the Apes. Hunting dreams of the deep. That's exactly what I'm doing. So. We have now done that part. Now, what I don't know is, do we warp one more time? Or do we go into... Do we... Do we... Is it going to be one of those ones that just pops up? Or is it going to be one that only happens when you're in uh, pulse travel? That's something I don't know. All right. What did that say? Grassy planet. All right, so it might pop up. All right, so we need to we need to go one more time. Just to double check. And if this isn't the case, then it's probably just related to me working on the <laughs> I'm out of fuel. Fuck. All right, hang on. Uh, Rastum says, just wanted to say hello. I always love how cool the planets look. I'm very pleased with how the planets look. Mike Larissa says, it says the next warp after the Pioneer Milestone. One Numenil says, according to the wiki, warping to a new system after achieving the milestone. All right, well, we're going to find out if that's the case. I might have to go deeper into the Artemis storyline. Either way, at the very least, we've we've ruled out... Um, we're not ruled out, but at the very least, we've fulfilled one of the things that the internet says we have to have done, which is the Pioneer Milestone. All right, we're doing the warp. Let's do the time warp again! It's just a galaxy to the left. And a star system to the right. Anything? I don't see anything popping up, so we might just have to follow the Artemis storyline a little bit. Oh, oh! Signal established. Fuck me, that was it. They left us. Maybe this was it. Let's 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 find out if this was it. Duty bound to follow them, but I I know where it will end. If you receive this, follow my coordinates and secure the site in case I don't make it back. Please input coordinates. I, I, okay, okay. My starship set, presses the coordinates from the stranger's message. The transmission is decayed over time, but the location appears to be valid. Dreams of the deep! Fuck yeah! Thanks, everybody. I appreciate the tips. Everybody working together to try to figure out what was the trigger. Because the wiki says after the 161616 16, 16 quest. Shit, am I getting scanned? Go to pirates! Leave me alone! Warning. Threat detected. Hostile ships approaching. Here we go. did an achievement, I have no time to check what that is. Attain Nestoria status and ships destroyed. Any more? That's right! That's right! Alright. Let's go to my log. Dreams of the Deep. Starship has intercepted a strange signal requesting those who hear it to investigate 
a nearby location. Alright, that is over here. Approximate location. I'm a close ally with the Vakeen now. This is what I really wanted to start working on, because this gets me... Um, obviously, there's the main story that I still want to do, but this starts getting me, like, the sub and aquatic parts for my base building and everything else. This was, this was definitely what I wanted to do! Thank you, guys. I appreciate the help, everybody, this morning. Team effort. Lord of the Apes says they've changed their requirements for the trigger a couple of times over the years. Originally, it was... The quest and 50 warps, but they dropped the quest requirements a long time ago. There's a knowledge stone right around here, wasn't there? Like right on top of it, just to grab it to get a word. I don't see it now. Ouch! Don't jump into the cacti, perhaps? Ooh, giant be flying beetle creatures. Oh, that's what we're looking for right there. Oh no, hello! What the fuck just happened there? I fell into a hole. Mommy! I'm scared! says dreams the deep best tip use your starship to travel to destinations or you could be traveling your sub for hours I would be stuck if I only did the 1616 quest correct that's correct for fuffle yeah I've got aqua jets on my existing ship so tower extract nanites okay If you are listening, you've likely found our final log. I leave this trace as a memory of my fallen friends and a warning to others who may end up on our path. I cannot deny myself the vain hope that someone may find me, though I beg you, do not follow. The haunting transmission ends. I notice the stranger has left behind an upgrade module for the aeration membrane. Collect the upgrade module. Its installation history contains the serial number of its owner's starship. Perhaps I ought to follow. Press A to begin installation.
Do I have that yet? The aquatic, yeah, aeration membrane right there. So. Hang on. What did the, what does the log say? Open the inventory. Oh, it's because I've herped and derped. It's this thing right here. Install. An extremely, a supremely powerful upgrade for the exosuit aeration memory. Use XP and switch switch switch. Drastically improved survival times underwater. We're going to put that right here, maybe. Let's see here. Right now it's... Oh, it has... It requires fuel? It's at 100% right now unparalleled improvements it doesn't actually tell me how much it improves though 34 percent right now no i wanted to move it into the hyper 34 percent no it's still 34 percent huh What if I move? Sixty-seven percent. We're gonna definitely we'll leave that there. All right. Mark's comment. You're doing well. You're now only four thousand four hundred eighty hours behind me in the game. Yes, I, I, I don't, I don't. I think I just crossed like twenty-five hours today, perhaps. I don't think it shows me here unless I uh, go out to the title screen. Um, I'm around twenty-five-ish hours. Lord of the Apes says, until now, using your ship could be. Just as long as using the sub if you had bad luck with island placement. After my first time, I've always made sure I had all three engine grip upgrades when I started. Uh, yeah, I don't know what any of that means. I'm assuming I'm going on a trip. <laughs> the signal both begged and warned away from rescue tip. Use the scanner to follow in their footsteps. Is that going to be on this planet, I wonder? Starship ship Starship signal. Follow the trace signal. 